Welcome back to the Cube here live at Hadoop World in New York City. I'm Jeff Kelly with Wikibon. Uh, Dave and John are, uh, I'm filling in for Dave and John now for, uh, for our next segment. We're, we're welcoming Rick Farnell, a co-founder and president of Think Big Analytics. Um, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. We're talking services. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about Think Big uh, Analytics, uh, what you guys are all about, and kind of how you fit into the Hadoop ecosystem. Sure. So uh, Think Big Analytics, we started the company last August. We're a professional services company. Uh, providing uh, professional services both on the engineering side of Hadoop ecosystems as well as data science and analytic solutions on top of Hadoop. So, uh, so we don't sell software or infrastructure to take referral fees. We strictly have the expertise to deliver solutions to enterprise clients. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the role, as you see it, of services in this Hadoop environment. Um, we talk a lot about uh, challenges around implementing Hadoop and really getting value out of it. Uh, what role will services play um, as we kind of as the ecosystem matures and as organizations are looking to get actual you know real business value out of the new yeah so I think I think the big role that think big analytics plays is we're kind of a, a mini version of uh, you know a, a large global systems integrator and we 100% we focus on Hadoop inspired architectures so we work with clients to figure out what does Hadoop do what type of value does it bring to the organization how do I plan for it how do I budget for it what skills do I need to bring into my organization to manage it to build solutions on top of it so I think we play a really unique role in the ecosystem right now because you know the deals in the last year year and a half have been kind of more pilot and getting going, and yes, there are some enterprise clients, but um, I, I think from an ecosystem perspective, we're really bringing a lot of solution creation on top of the platform. So folks like Cloudera and MapR and kind of the Hadoop vendors, Hortonworks, um, you know, they provide uh, support services and distributions on top of Hadoop, but then we kind of come in and help clients build solutions on top of it. So there was a lot of talk this morning in uh, Michaelson's keynote about kind of that next, taking that next step, building those applications on top, and really bringing bu business value. So that sounds like it's a great opportunity for service providers. And, and that's exactly the space that we fit. So uh, we really bring some velocity to the table with clients. So finding these skills, whether they're pure Hadoop skills or the data science skills, uh, you know, proficient in these technologies is really, really hard to find. So as a firm, that's exactly what we're bringing in. So we're bringing people in, we're training them ourselves, and then we're putting them back out on client projects to really bring that velocity to the client. So maybe the client could have done something in six months or nine months, but when they engage with Think Big, we can get them there in a couple of months. Okay, so so tell me about the, the kind of the, the technical versus the business side of your, of your practice. I mean, you've got, uh, the, the technical challenges, but you've also got talking to business users and, and executives that might not understand the big data, what, what, what the approach is all about. Tell me about those two different worlds and how you sure. approach so them. I, so I think our approach has been uh, to really lead with what we call a brainstorm engagement. It's a two-week engagement and really um, allows the IT and technical folks to really sit together with the business strategy folks. And we kind of brainstorm what types of analytics they would like to do and why they can't do that with their existing infrastructure. And then we kind of come up with a goal architecture using Hadoop and the, the ecosystem of, of products that are available today, and then we kind of move forward and pilot that. And then in the eight week scenario, we're kind of standing up something that is useful. It's not a throwaway POC. So kind of the business sees immediate impact. They get visibility into some reports or some analytics that they couldn't do before, or would take months to ask the IT organization you know, to, to develop and kind of we repeat that process. So this notion of a big data solution factory is really something that we're kind of instilling in our clients. So they work with us, we take them from prioritization to the technology to the analytics and solutions that sit on top, and then it's a continual process to really leverage the asset over time. Because as, as we all know and we've heard in all the case studies today in the sessions, kind of originally what these clusters originally stand up to do very often the, the organizations find new things to do with it. So once that word gets out, like, wow, I have all this compute power, wow, I can take all of this new data that we couldn't analyze before, it starts to really grow on the business side. And, and that's kind of where we really bring marriage to the IT organization and to the business organization. I mean, I, that, that makes a lot of sense because I think one of the real benefits, or one of the real um, 
one of the real benefits we're seeing in Hadoop is, is the ability to start doing some kind of an, some analytics that you never even thought of before. So you've got to have that flexibility. When you think of these new ideas, you will be able to experiment. And when you, when you find a winning formula, to put that into production. So in really that turnaround time to analyzing these new ideas, so our, the notion of a big data solution factory is make it possible for the business side of the house to make a thousand mistakes in their analysis at a really, really low cost and little bit of time to get to that one thing that's really going to create a game-changing new service for that business. So, of course, a lot of talk about the competition heating up in the uh, Hadoop distribution business. I just wanted to get your take. We've got Cloudera here at uh, Hadoop World. Uh, Hortonworks made a, made a splash with their entry a few months ago, and now their recent announcement. What, what's your take on the competition, uh, the different business models, and specifically, how does it impact your business? Do you have to tailor your services to the different distribution? How, how does that work? How does that impact your business? Well, so I think, I think from, from our perspective, the one thing that all three players really have at their core is following the Apache Hadoop uh, you know, distribution. So uh, from our perspective, we have services that sit on top and really focus on building the solutions on top of Hadoop. Mm -hmm. uh, now, as far as the distribution that it really ends up being the, the winner. Maybe it's going to be different verticals, different industries, different geographies. From our perspective at Think Big, we really want to be known as building the solutions on top of the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you know, what, again, uh, when it comes to the uh, the competition going on, mm -hmm. and also the related technologies, um, there's Aster Data is here, HP Vertica is here. How do those play, how do those fit into the, uh, the Hadoop landscape? And are, is that something that you help your clients with and kind of leverage both uh, Hadoop and other related big data technologies? So, so it's funny, what we see in the, just the last six months alone is with Hadoop and the, and the distributions really making a, a major play and really landing mainstream, mm -hmm. it's made the MPP vendors not look so emerging. Ah. So now all of a sudden enterprises are like, wow, okay, you know, that Hadoop thing, that's, you know, that may be a little bit out there. This MPP world, that's great. I'm, I'm okay there. Ah. So if anything, kind of the, the organizations that we work with that have made those decisions are really embracing, you know, the, the proliferation of those MPP stores across their organization and kind of using Hadoop for where it does its best work, which is, you know, really large scale data processing of unstructured data. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you would agree with the premise that Hadoop is really a complementary technology to a lot of these other big data technologies and existing IT infrastructure. It, absolutely, and, and in fact, a lot of our enterprise clients, both in the online advertising space and the uh, technology space, telecommunication space that we work with, um, we, we see kind of that marriage of the of the two. Use the right approach and the right technology for the right job. So the MPV vendors, you know, have a, a total place uh, with the business side of the house, and then Hadoop as an ecosystem has a place to, to store the unstructured information and kind of feed the strategy behind the MPP vendors. So, so tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, your customers, the use cases you're seeing, and uh, talk about the, the evolution of Hadoop in terms of, you know, was, we know the use cases at LinkedIn and Facebook, et cetera. Talk about moving to more tr traditional enterprises. Sure. Um, what's that? Where are we on that spectrum, and, and how, how? What are your customers? Uh, what, what type of industries are coming to you? So, so I think early on, from, you know, a year ago, what we're seeing is a lot of enterprise customers doing pilots and proof of concepts, mm -hmm. and and now we're really starting to see these organizations pick the stack. So they've made the decision on their you know data warehousing. They've made a decision on their MPP vendors, and now they're saying, all right, how do I bring in this unstructured capability? Uh, so we're seeing it in the logistics space, we're seeing it in banking, financial, uh, retail, uh, certainly the online advertising space was kind of first mover there, yep. you know, doing doing uh, analytics with, with unstructured data and clickstream data. So, uh, so yeah, we're really excited about just the, the opportunity to do more with data. It's kind of like the internet back in 1996. You know, when people would say, what does the internet do? Give me the use case, mm -hmm. right? It's kind of like today, tell me what Hadoop does. What is its use case? And it's very, very different for, you know, whichever organization you are, whatever vertical you're in. Uh, so, in our last question, what would you, what advice would you give to organizations out there? They're watching this, they're learning about Hadoop. Sounds like something that could help them. They're not really sure where, where to get started. What, what are some of the first steps they can take? So, I think the, the the most important piece that we've seen is 
make your first projects really successful. Give them the best shot at success. Because with this emerging space, there's some folks inside the organization that are taking some risks. And the last thing you want to do is take that risk and not have the project go well. So bring in some experts and really do it right the first time and give yourself the opportunity to kind of grow with the solution over time and be known as a visionary inside your organization. All right, well Rick, thanks so much for joining us. It was a pleasure having you. Think Big Analytics, check them out. Uh, it was good to talk to you and enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks so much, really appreciate it.